ericmothertmother.com, November 7th, 2017. We open the day here with another move to fresh intraday highs. And I'm going to use a chart for the NASDAQ. As an example here, the NASDAQ was trading at fresh intraday highs today. And we can see that it should continue being strong as long as the daily RSI is above 69.1. So the daily looks good. But as we've been observing over the last couple of weeks, every time the market has staged a fresh move to intraday highs, we have this problem where the RSI has constantly been rejected when trying to move above the 69.1 threshold. So ultimately, it continues setting the stage for a pullback with all these continued rejections. Also, we can see a push here to fresh intraday highs, but this has come at the expense of the technicals, which are making a lower high. That negative divergence is yet another layer of consideration that the market is running out of energy at this rate. We take a look at the 30-minute chart for the Dow, excuse me, for the NASDAQ. So the 30-minute chart for the NASDAQ, an improvement here. But take a look at the technicals. That's another instant of negative divergence. Now compare that with the 30-minute chart for the Dow. So we can see the Dow here, another fresh intraday highs. But take a look at the technicals. This seems to be the theme that the market's running out of energy since the RSI is not making a higher push. And in fact, we can see here that the only way the market continues moving higher, the only way this can happen is the bulls are going to have to take out this declining RSI line. In other words, until the market can move above this line here, we have to assume that the market is continually showing us that it wants to pull back. At some point, should this break out above that line, then that is when we can expect higher prices. Take a look at the Dow from an hourly standpoint. So on the hourly, Again, we can see evidence of improvement hour to hour, but the RSI is not necessarily doing the same thing. So that negative divergence definitely is setting the stage for a pullback. Additionally, we can see here for the Dow, there's also a line here that was the break. So we broke below that line of the highs there, short term highs. And if we draw our uniformity resistance line based on that break, so draw it like that. Again, we can see that we've come back to test that line and this is where we are seeing resistance. So it looks like more and more, the, yes, the market is showing intraday push, but we are still continuing to show the look and the idea that more than likely, we continue to look at a market that is setting the stage for a pullback. Now, we have to be careful with this theory that the market is going to pull back because the big picture continues to be very strong. For example, the Dow Daily is still hovering around and above the 69.1 threshold. As long as the Dow Daily is above 69.1, we know that for the daily time frame, we continue being sideways at worst, bullish at best. If we take a look at the weekly for the Dow, we continue seeing that we still are trading at a market on the weekly that is above 69.1, which means that we are in a sideways to bullish market on the weekly time frame. And in the big picture, the Dow continues to hold with its monthly RSI holding above 69.1. So month to month, we are still within the picture of a market that is sideways to bullish. So big pictures are very strong. But the hourlies and the 30 minutes are suggesting a shallow pullback. So it could be that we are just going through a small pullback before we go back to new highs. Otherwise, as long as the monthly is above 69.1, as long as the weekly is above 69.1, and as long as the dailies are above 69.1, these markets are not going to pull back significantly. So, having said that, we know that if there's going to be a pullback, it's going to come 
basically because of the hourly charts showing negative divergence. So this could be where things start cracking. And what could happen is that we might have the hourly, hourly charts crack first. And maybe they might crack so badly that they affect the daily, which might affect the weekly charts, which might also affect the monthly charts. Remember, small things can lead to big things. So that's the outlook. Short term, there's a pullback in store more than likely, but now the magnitude of the pullback is going to depend on how much damage the pullback will do. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.